guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I got inspired to do this freaky doll looking Halloween makeup tutorial. I got the inspiration from this picture that I saw right here. So this is basically what I based my look off. Also a few other pictures that I saw, but this was mostly it. I used a bunch of different products, so I will have them listed in the description down below and I will do my best to explain how I did this fully. And if you enjoyed this makeup tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I'm starting this tutorial with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I'm in the shade 120. And I'm going to put this on my face with my damp beauty blender and just blend that in. I'm now taking my Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm not sure which shade this is. I'll put it in the description down below. And I'm literally just packing this all over my face. Um, this is going to be a creepy doll tutorial, so I want to be very pale, and I'm just blending this in with my damp beauty blender as well. I'm taking RCA, RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm going to pack this onto my under eye area with my beauty blender, and then I'm going to set my entire face with it using a generous amount. I'm taking my Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and I'm going to take the shade China White with a fluffy brush and I'm putting this on my entire lid and also into my crease. I'm now taking Courtney with the same brush and I'm only putting this into the crease. This is going to be a really dramatic smoky eye so I'm putting a good amount. And now I'm going to take Black Rainbow with this concealer brush and I'm just packing this onto my entire lid and winging it out to the side. And then I realized I was going to get quite a lot of fallout so I decided to put my RCMA, RCMA No Color Powder underneath my eyes so in case there's any fallout then it'll grab it. And now I'm just adding some more of that black and I'm going to take a smaller brush for the crease. And I'm going to keep going back and forth with the Black Rainbow and Courtney and just making sure it's smoky and blending it out, making sure there's no harsh lines. And I'm just going back in and adding some more of that black because when it was blended, I knew that some of it got lost. And then again, I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush and making sure all the edges are blended nicely together. I'm going to go ahead and dust that powder away. I'm taking this ColourPop Gel Eyeliner in the shade Honey Dude and I'm going to line this on my waterline. I'm taking my Morphe M432 with Black or Rainbow and I'm going to put this under my lower lash line to really define it. And now I'm taking that black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and just smoking it out and blending everything together. And I decided to add more of that nude shade, so I'm just putting that into my waterline. And I'm going to repeat that step with the black. I'm using that Morphe M432 and then the pencil brush again. I want a real sharp line for the eyeshadow, so I'm just using some concealer. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend this out, and I'm just using my fingers and tapping it. I'm using Maybelline Superstar Red Carpet Black Mascara, I believe it's called. I'll put it in the description below. And I'm using this. I'm only using the black side. I'm not using the primer side. And I'm just putting the mascara on. I'm taking a small eyeliner brush and a little more of that black eyeshadow and just adding that on. I wanted the inner corners of my eye to really pop so I'm adding more of that nude eyeliner and then I'm going to go ahead with China White from the Jeffree Star palette and I'm just going to put this on with an eyeliner brush to make it really pop. For blush I'm going to be using a few. I'm taking NARS Orgasm and I'm just applying this to my cheeks very generously. And I'm going to add Milani Luminoso right on top of that. And then on top of that, I'm going to take Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheeks and just blend that in. 
I'm taking my RCMA No Color Powder and my Sigma F77. I'm gonna make like a U shape around the cheeks. I'm taking this ColourPop brow pencil and I'm gonna make that fake freckles on my cheeks. I'm gonna make a good amount. And after about a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and dust this powder away and blend it in. I'm gonna start making the mouth right now, so I'm gonna take this black gel eyeliner pencil and I'm just carving out where the mouth shape is gonna be. And I'm lining my lower lips. And I'm gonna go ahead and color them in. Using the same eyeliner pencil, I'm going to make the lines for the teeth. I'm going to take a ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipstick in the name London Fog, and I'm outlining the bottom and shading it in. I'm taking the shade right here from my e.l.f. contour palette, and I'm going to put this in for the teeth shade, and I'm using this eyeliner um, brush. And I'm going over the lip shade with this ColourPop Matte X Formula lipstick in the shade Trust Me. I'm taking a little bit of ColourPop highlighter, stole the show, and just filling it in, but it's not really that noticeable. I'm taking my Maybelline Felt Tip Eyeliner by iStudio, and I'm going to go over those teeth to darken it up. I'm taking the London Fog lipstick that I used before. And I'm just putting this on my top lip. And then again, going over it with another lipstick that I used before. I'm taking the lightest shade in the e.l.f. contour palette. And I'm putting this all over my lips with the small eyeliner brush. And I'm just taking RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to set that. I want everything to stay in place. And for the lipstick, I guess it wasn't completely matte. So it transferred a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and put powder on that. So now I'm just fixing up the bottom and adding a little more of that light shade. I'm taking a little more of that eyeliner to sharpen up the eyes. I'm using concealer again just to clean that up. I'm now making the outline for the teeth with my NYX Slide On Glide On Gel Pencil. And I'm going to darken it up with the felt tip one. And then again setting that with powder. I'm taking that eyeliner right below my cheeks just to make like a more curved effect. And I'm just going to go ahead and smoke it out with black eyeshadow and I'm using a pencil brush. I'm taking my Lorac Pro Contour Palette and I'm going to take the medium contour shade and I'm going to blend that right on top just to darken it up. And to blend it further, I'm taking my Sigma F77. I'm going to contour my nose, and I believe I used the two darker shades in the Lorac Contour Palette. And right now I'm just using a pencil brush and just blending that in. And I also put lighter pow powder in the middle of my nose, um, but I don't think I have a clip of it. And now I'm just blending that in with my Beauty Blender. <laughs> 